guys talk a lot about takeaways, practicing them, working through them, you know, kind of in, in different situations. But um, were there things you felt like you could exploit t- today with Penn State, or was it maybe just more of kind of in the moment, you know, seeing those opportunities and seizing those opportunities, whether it's obviously to punch the ball out or, or get the interceptions you did? Yeah, I think it was just we just seized the opportunities in the moment. Uh, I mean, we knew we knew we knew some of their tendencies. Um, he overthrew he overthrew a pick to me, so it was like I had to catch it. It was like one of those cupcake picks, and also we just I just made an instinctive play on the um, down at the red in the red zone. The quarterback he tried to pull it. I just went for the ball, stripped it. So I just think that was just seizing the moment, basically. All right, Rabbi, and then Kevin Brockway. Hey man, I just want to get your thoughts on this. Yeah, obviously, Indiana's first one over a top 10 team since 1987. Highest ranked team that Indiana's beaten, I believe, since 1967. Just what do you feel you showed the country about where you guys are as a football program right now? Uh, I feel like we've shown that we, we're moving in the right direction and that we're, we're a brand new Indiana football team. We're not like the historic or whatever. You know, we got a bunch of guys here that bought in, that wanted, came here to change this program, and that's exactly what we're doing. Everyone doing their 111, making plays when it comes to them and just staying motivated throughout the whole game. All right, Kevin, then Paul Gable. Jamar, can you just uh, take me through your interception in the uh, first half, what you saw there, and that looked like it was a little bit of an overthrow and what it meant, uh, you know, to be one of the takeaways in the first half to kind of set you guys up? Uh, yeah, I knew they went three by one. We were in man, and I knew 87 was their big target, um, the tight end. He, he did a good job. Uh, he, he, I saw that my uh, rover monster, he had got beat inside a little bit, so I started driving on it, and then next thing I know, the ball just came in my hands. I had to seize the moment. All right, Paul and Dylan Walsh. Lamar, talk a little bit about Michael Penix, the guy that you go against every day in, in practice and what a win like this does for him. Oh, Mike, yeah, he's he's awesome. Yeah, we, we're we going at it every day in practice, iron sharpens iron. He's, he's making some throws, you know, making some pass deflections against him. You know, we just, we're making each other better basically in practice. And this is a good win for him, you know, coming off of, he missed a lot of the season last year. You know, I think he's getting his confidence back now. You know, especially he did a good job on that last drive, putting us in position to score and then actually getting the two-point conversion. You know, that was big. Then in overtime, he just... He was really locked in in this that fourth quarter. I really got to take my hat off the mic. Did a great job. All right, Dylan, and then Peegs to wrap up. I guess what's going through your head sort of at the end there when they're reviewing whether or not Mike got in the end zone. Um, I guess, you know, what are you talking about? Did you have a feeling of one way or the other and just kind of the excitement when they announced that it was a successful conversion? Uh, it was big, actually, because the way we won it, that's just what made it so – that made it so different, you know. We, we let them score. We let them in um, on that last drive. They weren't expecting that, I don't think. You know, I think that was a smart thing to do. And we trusted that our offense was going to really go down and um, get get the touchdown and make it go to overtime, which we did. And in that last play, I, I saw the pile line move, so I thought it was six. I knew it was six. I didn't have no doubt about it. We stormed the field like we won, which we did. So that was a great play. All right, Peaks, last one, and then we'll go to Stevie. Hey, Jamar, I think you made one of the plays in the when you stopped him on third and fourth down. Just uh, speak of that moment and what what you saw. Uh, which which play? Which one? When you when they turned it over on downs uh, late uh, in the game. Yeah, you come on fourth down. When yeah. I got back there. Oh uh, man, yeah, that was just a gutsy play. You know, we had we showed grit on that play. You know, defense. You know, we offense was moving a little slow, so you know, defensively we, we took the took it upon us to, you know, stop them. We want to stop them every chance we got. You know? And I think we did a pretty good job tonight doing that. Um, we, they got a few things here and there, but for the most part, we, we did what we needed to do to get the W.